Starting out to the right side, turning over. It's on a pretty good line, coming to the right edge of the green as we speak. That thing was oh. pounded. It looked perfect the entire way. Could go in. Follow Maki that close from an eagle to get to 18 under. Oh, beautiful. Landed on the downslope and still kept its spin. Got it. That from just six feet three inches, the closest shot to seven all day, and it's an eagle. So it's a nice up and down for birdie for Knapp, but Falamaki's eagle evens it up just through seven holes. He began the day again, four back. Steve Sands, pleased to be alongside Kurt Byram and Cristobal Del Solar. Look at this tee ball at the fifth. Now you can see very little wind right now, and this was struck nearly perfectly. Kurt, come on now. <laughs> How does that not go in? Oh, my God. Ramey at the fifth. No green to work with. Wow, <laughs> plenty of hole to work with though, Jeff. What's happening here? That's one way to stop the golf ball. He was talking about his long backswing. He said, you know what? He said, I knew that was an asset and I never wanted to change Jake Knapp's backswing. That's Kevin Doherty yeah. dialing it up from long distance at the 13th. Now, this is makeable off the upslope. Landed at maybe two to three feet on the green. Yes! What do you know? You have to wait for a hole in one, but this one surely has to go in. Rafa Campos. We saved he's it. already had. We saved it for you. Right, he's already had a great week. Here he is at 17 as well. Come on. <laughs> Never seen that in my life. A little bit open. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Dunks it in, James Hahn. That's a birdie, no problem. A lot of undulation in this green. He's chipping uphill, and then it's downhill the last, oh, about eight feet. About <laughs> like that. Wow. <laughs> what a shot. Novak. We go to 18. Aaron Baddeley right behind us. This guy's short game. It's oh. crazy how good it is. Short Easy. game and putting for years. Three quarter shot, as Harrington said, from 114. Oh, oh. beautiful shot. Another one? Oh, How about Doug, Doug Gim? Three consecutive birdies. And Gim is now wow. at 12 under par. A little tough start for him. He's a couple over par in his round so far. This big iron shot here to the green. Uh, he's going to get over that hill. Come oh, down man. feed towards the hole, yeah. All right, how about a bounce back? Just a touch over 60 yards, helping wind will take a little bit of spin off it. Mm -hmm. Is that any good? Oh, that is it. Just superb to hit it up that high down and control the spin in the distance. And that makes Jake Knapp's pitch much harder. Shot. Yeah, you know, this ball on this pass pound, it sits up so high. It's so easy to hit it nice and clean. That's the best chip we've seen him hit in a long time. Low is spin. Good first kick. Kind of like that. What a shot. Jake Knapp in there to a couple feet. Oh. 
first eagle of the day at the last, but it's playing very easy, Bones. Oh, he clipped that nice with a lot of spin. Yeah, let's take note of that hole location. It's very, very accessible. You never know a couple of hours from now when Valamaki and Knapp get there, three could be in play. Yeah, this whole location is up on a top of a shelf here. It's a small, tiny platform. It's a pretty big green. Really hard to get it there. There we go. Kim from long range. Remember, we last saw him struggling with the ninth. Yep. Well done. That uphill lie helped him to have some spin. And you know they uh, are coming out of their seats there on the West Coast. Not bad, Checked. but quite a yeah. bit of work left. Checked up on him pretty quick, didn't it? It did. No, Kirk. This was just a moment ago at 17. Brandon Wu came up well short on the tee shot. Check this out. There you go. That's nice recovery. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Taking it left, this is oh, headed no. right for that bunker, that, though. A popular spot, and it's not easy from there, depending on where you land. And that's over it, and it's sailing right a little bit. The wind should help it him now. It needs to hold on. It's not getting helped by that Alamaki wind at all. Oh, is concerned. Path. He hits the path. No, there's no way to hit this ball. Absolutely no way. He's going to have to take an unplayable. And the interesting thing was Knapp came over and took a look at it. That's a very smart thing for a young player to do. So he knows what the situation is going to be. But he's going to have to take an unplayable here. And you can't get relief from a boundary fence. You know, you can take it from a hazard stake, but not from a boundary fence. Beautiful looking swing. That's what he needed. People think it might be easier to have a four shot lead. Sometimes that's the hardest thing in the world with the expectations. He got off to a slow start. The best part of his game fell apart in this final round. And what had been really the most difficult part for him, he, shone, he shined today, this afternoon, up and downs. And it is indeed nap time in Mexico. This is going to be a really popular win on the PGA Tour. This win for Jake Knapp. And I think he's going to feel better about himself that he won without his best stuff. He had to dig deep, Dan, and he did it. Gritty up and downs on the back nine. I saw Jake this morning. He was excited that McKenna flew in from Canada. You never know how that's going to go, right? Yeah, what a moment for them both. Most important people in your life. <laughs> Living the dream. Yeah, Living the dream. The LTD at the end of the nap time handle on his social media. Great stuff. Jake Knapp holds on. Pressure was on him. He had the big four shot lead. Holds on to beat Sammy Valamaki. 71 didn't have his best stuff, but closes out the deal. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.